Hello and welcome to this video. So I got a week off, it's a beautiful day. I've decided to take myself on a little micro adventure. I've just got a new pack and it's this, which is the One Tigris, I think it's called a Light Roma. And it's like a 40 litre pack. So I thought I would set out on a little adventure to test it and I'll just very quickly pack it on camera because I don't do that very often, what's in my pack and all that rubbish. So this is not a bushcraft trip, this is just a wild camping trip. Um, I'm just going to march out onto the common behind my house, find somewhere to camp and uh, camp there. I think I'm going to bivy, um, mostly because it's, it's boiling hot, it's not going to rain. So I think just a bivy on the floor would suit that perfectly. What I'm going to do now is just pack this bag, go through what's in it and, uh, and then quick shower, change my clothes and then we'll head off. Okay, so the way I work things out when I camp is I section it off, right? I go, in my head, I go bedroom, uh, cook stuff, warm clothes, food and drink. So that is essentially what we've got here. So we'll have a look, right? This is a one man tent footprint. It's basically the size of my body. So that's going on the ground. Then I've got the light AF mat. I've got a Trekology Ultralight 80 sleeping pad, Trekology pillow, tiny pump to blow them up with, uh, baby bag, sleeping bag. That is a 750 fill, sort of three season down bag. So that is enough warmth, because it's still, it's not summer yet, it still gets cold at night. But, you know, that provides a little bit of insulation. This will provide a bit of insulation. The down bag, it's going to be more than ample. This is only a one season, it doesn't have much in the way of R value, but it'll be fine in combination with that. First aid kit, which is an essential thing I always take. Then over here, I've got my puffer jacket, a fleece, and a hat. And I think that's it in there. Uh, that's my camera bits, that's my poo kit. And then I've got myself two beers and a little tiny plastic bottle of wine, not a glass one. That is my food, which we'll have a look at later. That is supper, breakfast, and some snacks. I'll be cooking the food on Trangier with a windshield and a little bit of spare meths in case. That has got brew kit and fold up spork. The bowl is a uh, there's a bowl and a cup in here, they kind of nest for cereal in the morning and a cup of hot chocolate or something in the evening. And like I say, it's roasting hot, so I've got one Nalgene filled with ice water that's been in the freezer and then two little 750 cold water because I'm walking, I'll probably drink most of that. And that is it, so let's see if we can fit it in this pack. say so I've literally just got this pack I've never used it I will kind of give it a review but not today I just want to use it for now to see what it's like Okay, let's go. A fern! <laughs> okay. We are on our way. So my plan is find somewhere nice to have food. I might try and get up to a high point try and catch a nice sunset because I think it'd be good tonight but I'm gonna make my way to the river I think 
and then uh, there's a bit from there where you can make your way up. I was here the other morning with my wife when we were walking the dogs and she did say this would make a nice place for a swim but it had been raining, the water was a lot higher it's a bit of a muddy mess there but not so bad from over that side it's nice here though, I like it very quiet. Pretty. If you can see the shade of red in the grass, it's lovely. You can see uh, loads of bunny rabbits there. I saw some further back, but anytime I start to step towards them, they straight down their holes. So we'll leave them be. This is lovely. Tempted to stop here for a drink actually. I might just stop and have a little sip. That's a really nice drink. Over by the big oak. Lovely, icy cold water. Got a bit of garlic beef biltong, so uh, I'll pack that open as a little snack and keep walking. I was kind of thinking of having dinner here, but I'd rather get up the hill and have dinner and watch the sun go down. Just have a little snack and a drink. 
and then we'll keep moving. It is starting to get close to sunset. Oh, I need to find my way to some higher ground. As I've sort of dropped down again. I'm back near the river following it along. But if memory serves, there's a way up soon. I'm hungry as well, so I want my dinner. I want my dinner. Glorious. Look at that sun. Isn't she lovely? Don't sing. And if memory serves, this should take me out to an old kind of military road. And that will uh, lead me uphill. Look at that across there. That's stunning, isn't it just? Right, I need to head in that direction when I can. Here we are. Oh, hello. We're going up there. Mm. Just behind you is um, a load of gorse bushes and then the ground drops steeply. My thoughts are there's a little, little gap between the two. I'll take you around and show you that that would be the place to set my bivvy. Now I'm going to sit out here and watch the sun go down and eat my supper. Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? This is what I'm talking about. And the main footpath is down there. You see the river down there. The main footpath runs alongside that. No one really comes up this way unless they're fools like me. And then that little spot there is flat enough for a bivvy. And where I was just now, it's just out there. Yeah, so I reckon this little spot here is kind of made for it. Maybe in there where my bag is, but we'll see. I'm not going to set up now, I'll do that much later. But uh, yeah, this little spot feels good. Right, I think I'm going to go and start making my dinner. Tonight then, what's in my bag? That's what we're having, which is uh, bar blah band. Is that what it's called? Blah band, Swedish meatballs. And 
that one's best. Let's see if we can get in this way. It's all overflowing. That'll do. Scrunch them in. Cheers. Let's have a little look at this sunset. Oh, that's pretty. Give this a go. Just let me be here for a second. Mmm. Smells like cat sick. Looks kind of like cat sick. But we'll see. Let's give it a try.
went through the gear earlier, so there's no need to do that. You know what's in my pack. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go back out there to the bench, finish my beer. I might give my wife a call, and um, and then I'm going to get an early night. I think so. I'm going to be up at the crack of dawn in order to uh, get out of here before the dog walkers come. But yes, we're all ready. See you bright and early in the morning for breakfast. Good night. Wish me luck. Uh, good morning. a bad night's sleep. There's some deer barking when I was first going to sleep and something ran past just below me. This is a bit freaky at uh, kind of half past 10-ish. But it was just deer. But, uh, yes, I think, I'm not sure of the time, I'd say it's probably Half four, quarter to five. I think the sun's just about to crest the horizon, so I'm going to get up and go and see if I can see it, I think. Oops. Oh, wow. That's a cool looking sky. Let's get up now. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? this camp down and then go and sit out there and have some breakfast I think. Now anyone had slept there, so that's pretty good. Bags all packed. Where I slept is tidy. Time for a coffee. Oh, ho, ho, just in time. She's a beauty. Hello, son. 
Hello, son. Sorry, that ruined the moment. What I've resorted to filming with a stick. <laughs> but if it works, it works. Right. So I'll drink the coffee. And I might wander somewhere else for my breakfast. Start making my way home and then find a spot to sit down. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy this. Gonna move on, find a spot and have some breakfast. See you in a bit. In a bit! <laughs> Who says that? Good morning. I right, have my breakfast here. I can hear the road now really loudly. So it's not as tranquil as I thought, but it's okay. I'm getting hungry. <sighs> a nice bench here, so I might sit on that. So for breakfast today, now a little while ago I had a French MRE and inside it, it did uh, chocolate muesli which I thought was really nice and uh, you know a real break from having porridge. So I thought while well, the summer months are upon us, you know, I'd have a break from porridge and I'd try and get some chocolate muesli. I tried to order the French uh, chocolate muesli, travel stuff, that you just add water to. And it was, I think for one sachet of it, it was going to cost me about 15 quid, which I thought was just ridiculous. So I thought I'd have a go at making my own. This is chocolate uh, Alpen muesli, but this you're supposed to add milk too and I tasted it at home and it's a little bit healthy a little bit healthy tasting so I've added to this uh, milk powder a little bit of cocoa and a tiny bit of sugar 
and I've sort of recreated that French MRE taste and it's pretty good I've been eating it at home I tried it with milk powder a few times at home just to get the measurements right um, and now I've been eating it at home you know with milk like you're supposed to but, um, but yeah I've made this up this has got milk powder and stuff in it so I can just add water to it and it's blooming tasty it must be said chocolate milk yeah for some reason you know the one I bought here it's not very sweet and not very chocolatey it's full of fruit but yeah just a in this there's a I don't know teaspoon not even that half a teaspoon of cocoa powder a tablespoon of milk powder and then about a teaspoon of sugar and it just gives it that lovely French MRE taste Just let that soak for a minute or so and then I'll eat. And my alarm just went off. It's now six o'clock. I'll expect to see dog walkers starting to arrive soon. So I'm gonna call that it myself. I'm gonna uh, eat my breakfast here and then take myself off home. I'm not I'm not far from home now. I'm I'm only I don't know, ten minute walk or so. What I did last night was I kind of went off in that direction and then did a big circular route and kind of came back because that hill with the view it's probably only 20, 20 minutes, 25 minutes from my house which is nice but yeah I did a big loop around and came at it from the back but yes yeah, so I will be uh, I'll be camping out in this area a bit I think in the, in the coming years I suppose there's loads of nice little spots, there's a couple of lakes around, there's woodland to the north of me, like big areas of forest. I've been walking in there with the dog and uh, finding places out the way where I could sit and have a little campfire. But uh, I just really wanted to get up there because I've been walking up there quite a bit and um, I do like a nice sunset and sunrise. I think that's it today. I'd like to thank you for watching. And, um, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. No really help. If you can push the video to over a hundred thumbs up, I think it does something in the algorithm. And um, you know, little channels like mine, you know, all that sort of thing really does help. If you like the video, if you like some of the videos I've done, you know, subscribing is always helpful as well. I'm trying to build a channel. I'd like to get up near 20,000 subscribers this year. So, um, yeah, any help you can give me in that direction, sharing the video, telling people about it, it's uh, gratefully received. buy me a coffee page if you want to support the channel help me buy a new tripod I've broken another one that's it that's enough begging I'll um, see you next time thanks for watching